Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group H Round 3 match between Lamar Soleil and his lovely light blue Wood Elves up against Baylor and his orange and green Chaos team. I can show you the groups here and the situation is it's diabolical for Baylor. He needs to win and he needs to score three touchdowns. In fact, he has to win 3 0. So he's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got to win like 3 0 or 4 1 or something. So, Baylor is essentially out at this point, realistically. Lamazale, though, has some interesting things. If it's a 0 0 draw, he won't qualify because the tiebreaker is touchdown scored, not touchdown difference. So, a 0 0 draw is not good enough for Lamazale. A 1 1 draw will see him qualify in second place. And a win for Lamar Soleil will see him top the group and leave Andy Devo as a very dangerous second place finisher for the knockout rounds. And uh, yeah, obviously a loss for Lamar Soleil, he's out as well. So, all to play for for Lamar's and uh, not a lot to play for for Baylor, to be honest. Um, he's got a chaos team, he's got some block, he's got some guard, tackle, two heads, wrestle. Um, Nice pitch here, the Wood Elf pitch. The Mars has got the tackle dancer, the old school tackle dancer, strip dancer, a couple of dodge, a couple of wrestle, leader. That's pretty standard, right? But no, uh, no tree man, and no apple. Oh, it's because he's got the thrower as well, isn't it? Oh, he's got, he's got twelve players. He's got twelve players. Okay, I was completely bamboozled. It's because he's dropped the re-roll. And with the re-roll, he's upgraded the Apo to a reserve and a thrower. Or in fact, he's just turned the he's turned the Apo into a thrower, right? With that um, with that re-roll, which isn't really an upgrade, I don't think. And it's cost him a skill. Stay fantastic! Oh no, strip dancers are completely, uh, they're completely, they'll never go away. But the tackle dancers, it, it, they're not so good, like on, on online especially, right? There's no there's no Amazons, so the tackle's just a bit limited, isn't it, you know? Sidestep to stop one turns is nice. Frenzy for things is good. I like a, I like a frenzy or a sidestepper more than a tackle. Though. But... On tabletop, maybe uh, you know, maybe keep the tackle for Amazons. I mean, it's just strange to see a, a Chaos team full stop, right? This was this was a very strange tournament to take Chaos. I would not dream of taking Chaos in this format, but fair play to Baylor. <laughs> the funny thing is, if Baylor tries to win this game 3 0, that really plays into Lamazale's plan of <laughs> of needing a win to top the group, right? <laughs> because <laughs> Chaos can't beat Wood Elves 3 <laughs> 0. Realistically. So um So yeah. Yeah, Chaos just needs more skills, yeah. Right? There's obviously a, a point where Chaos become a viable choice, right? If you just keep giving them a combination of money and skills, they will become the best team, right? Like, that's just obvious, right? If you gave them like two million to buy their team and they had 400 skills, they would be the best team. So there has to be a point where they're level with the other teams to an extent. But it isn't, it isn't this. <laughs> it definitely isn't this. They, you know, they just, you know, they're completely outclassed by like orcs and wizards and stuff. Necro. They need to get very lucky. Yeah, claw, claw over and try and get lucky, or block over and try and get lucky. They cover, it's not easy to boom that, and they don't try to. 
you know, tabletop, tabletop people. It's the same people who've been playing, you know, since 2004, right? It's a lot of them the same people, like right? Joe Manji, Pete W, Purple Goo, you know, Codfree, all these guys. They're all the same old dudes who play tabletop blood Bowl forever. And <laughs> they're not really interested in making chaos viable. Um, so, you know, everyone's quite happy with Wood Elves being the best. To the point where they put Wood Elves down to Tier 2, right? Like, lots of people put Wood Elves down to Tier 2 when the new rules came out. Because people were actually quite happy with Wood Elves being the best team. But, um... But nobody ever really wants to try and make Chaos the best team. Because I guess you'd get pushed back from people and stuff. I guess you'd get pushed back from people. There are new coaches, but then also TOs, right? TOs are generally older, older gentlemen, not not Dimmy G. But yeah, that. Oh wow. Okay. Um, this is why an apple is preferred for Wood Elves, isn't it? Okay, so he's he snaked a dodge, and then had his dancer cast. <laughs> Oh no! No! Right. Now I'm sorry, Baylor. I'm sorry, Baylor. But you have to win this game three nil. You cannot stand here. You have to go forward in scoring range, right? And cut and cage down here. You have to go down. Like you, it's stupid. It's totally stupid, right? Trying to beat Wood Elves three nil. <laughs> It's insanity. It can never happen. But how it can happen is the first action snake, you kill literally everything. You've killed a, you've killed a dancer, you've killed a strip dancer. You've killed the best dancer. So you've got it you've got to pile forward and you've got to go for your 3-0. Oh no. Yeah, the, you can't just go here. You just can't. It's a pow. It gets another cast. <laughs> oh my god. What a start. Lamar's. Imagine thinking, oh, I've got an easy win versus Chaos. And then they do this to you. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's going for the one D. Oh. <laughs> Gets the one D pal. I mean that was another reason to run up the pitch, it would have actually been safer, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> minor detail that one. Yeah, the spandex suit is pretty funny. <laughs> yep. Rolls a one. Doesn't die. Look at the cars! Oh my god! <laughs> Tackle! <laughs> oh my goodness! 3-0. He just needs 3-0. He needs 3-0 or 4-1. Easy, really, when you think about it. Flip me. Pow. <laughs> oh no, on no balls. Yeah, it's fair enough. Oh no. I mean, he's already looked like he's half assed it because he should have been down for it last turn and he should have been scoring on turn 5. But he might get 3 0, right? If he scores on turn 8 here, 
and then he turns the Wood Elves over twice in the second half, so he can get he can get the three now. I mean, it's more sensible to stall this out. Like this is more sensible, right? But I just think he had to not, just because it's so hard, right? Like it's so hard. Just give yourself chances to score more touchdowns. Also, the fact that the ball would have actually just been safer. Oh my god, KO! <laughs> this is brutal! <laughs> this is like watching one of my games! <laughs> you can Ogre Blitz here, couldn't he? 3D Ogre Blitz. <laughs> yeah, replay, yeah. Gets Tackle on the Dancer. Yeah, Tackle on the Dancer's brief, isn't he? You can foul him as well, couldn't he? I would have been tempted to 3D the uh, leader, but I mean, if you power the dancer, it's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Oh no! Oh, God, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, <laughs> you cannot sideline cage. <laughs> I don't know why not just normal cage, but why not just kill the other dancer? Holy moly. <laughs> I mean, this is how to beat Wood Elves 3 0. Kill their entire team in the first half. Flip me. <laughs> I wouldn't say likely, it looks possible. <laughs> oh wow. Rushing to hit with tackle. Again, I'm just 3D. I mean now definitely 3D with a mummy, right? And he scores on turn seven. What else can score in two turns? <laughs> you can't score in one. <laughs> no throw on the ball. Oh, it's to get a blitz. Yeah, to get to, it's probably to get a punch woodies. Yeah, I imagine his rationale was to get the punch woodies, but they can also score <laughs> like they're wood elves. <laughs> they are in fact wood elves and can score. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's. It is what it is. <laughs> well, I mean, he's got he's got like three dice on the ball, but not with block. And he needs rushes to get in range anyway. One rush to get in range, and then three dice. Also, you could blitz him like on the sideline, right? To get him, try and get a throw in. Didn't even roll; just took the ball down. Um, <laughs> like, what, I didn't kill this guy. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? How did I not kill something? <laughs> well... Not what I would have done. 
keeps his setup the same. So Lamar's keeps his setup. I mean, he's just going to score again. He didn't change his setup. He told him exactly what he was going to do, and he's like, no problem, mate. Do it again. <laughs> Do exactly the same thing you did to me again, please. But now with an extra player. It's not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad. I mean, he could have just set up in chevrons. Which would have helped a lot. Well, he can win 4-1 now, can't he? He could have still won 4-1. I mean, yeah, it's pretty over. He should have not scored on turn 7. And then he could have maybe won this 3 now. Unbelievable, unbelievable casting two dancers and removing loads of other players. It would have been very hard. It would have been very hard, but there was there would have been there would have been a chance. There was a chance for him to. There was actually ridiculously there was a chance for him to have won this three 0 which I would have never dreamt. Chaos versus Woody's would have had a chance of winning 3-0, but instead he finds himself 2-1 down versus like six elves. Um, so there you go. Oh, I forgot! I forgot to give the background on the people. The Marzalea is from PC, Season 5, Official Playoffs. And Bela is also from PC, also French. And is from the AMIS... Oh my god, I can't even try and say this. Something Necrosoft, let's say Necrosoft. Um, <laughs> that's... Uh, yeah. The skill present represented by a giant stop sign. Do you mean do you mean this thing? It's he's got plus A V from Iron Man. Or do you mean these guys that are dead? <laughs> yeah yeah plus A V, yeah. Yeah, he got it from uh Pret and Nuffle for the whole match. I don't know red hair, I don't know how I actually don't know how much Blood Bowl 3 you've seen, so it was a reasonable question, I thought. 5-2, he could win 5-2, yeah. He could win 5-2. He will qualify with 5-2. I don't think he'll win 5-2, <laughs> but he would qualify with 5-2. Don't say it's over. It's also not over, right? This could be a draw as well, right? Like, this could be a draw. A 2 2 draw for the Marseillais. Let's have a look. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. A 2 2 draw is good for the Mars, right? That will put him on four points. And five touchdowns scored. So, a 2 2 draw is good for the Mars. So, at the moment, the Mars is in second place. With Andy winning the group. Stomp him. No. Uh, Blood Bowl 3, if they can't set up three players on the LOS... No, if they can't set up any players on the LOS, you score a touchdown and you advance it to the marker two turns. The three, if they can't set up three, they can concede without penalty. But 
then you have to not be able to set up anybody on the LOS. So, that's unlikely. You've still got seven dudes on the pitch. <laughs> Gotta respect it. And he drew versus Davo. He drew versus Davo. That really put a cat amongst the pigeons. He made the whole, uh, he made the whole group and maybe tournament more interesting. Does the handoff, as decides this half, he's going to try and go for five. No, nope, no, nope, he just did it to get a square closer. And if he scores early again, then Lamar's just gets to win, doesn't he? And he does. 2-2. Two, two. Six players. Let's try again. <laughs> Same thing for the third time. Oh, it's a deep kick though. He did change his setup a little bit. Oh, he's going to have to come back. Yeah, he's... Just try and hang on to the 2-2 two -two here. He can't do it, no. No, he can't. Really. He could still win 3-2, right? But he would then lose on touchdown difference. I mean, he's still got catchers, so there's a, there's a chance he could make a break for it here. But mostly the Mars just not, wants to not lose, doesn't he? It is a bit better to end up in group one for the draw, yeah. But I mean, there could be, obviously I'm in group two, and uh, Diomed could be in group two, and Andy could be in group two. If Lamaz can win this game somehow, which is probably with a gigantic potato. He's barely even in range. Well, that's not in range. He should have rushed, right? He should have rushed. He's, he's literally not in range. with anything yet. Okay, he rerolls that one. He's not in range! That was turn 15! He's not in range! Oh, was that was that the uh, was that the replay thing looking rubbish? No, no, he, he, no. The Mars received. The Mars received this half because Baylor received the first half. He sh he just didn't rush with the ball. He's got a chain, he's got a chain, he's got a chain him with the ogre. <laughs> oh, Bill, I 
like it, let him chin him. That's wild. That's absolutely wild. Wow. I, I don't know how Lamaz didn't rush on that other turn, turn 15. He must just not have known what turn it was. He must just not have known what turn it was. Wow. Wow, wow. That's crazy. Lost both dancers instantly. An amazing game, yeah. An absolutely incredible game. <laughs> wow. Um, yes, yes, this is. This is little Yoshi, yeah. There you go. That is the result. 3 2 to the miles of air. And that means the final group looks like this Andy's Draws versus Break It and Bailar. Um, means that even though he beat Le Marseillais, Le Marseillais wins the group by winning his other games and Andy's slip-ups cost him and he qualifies in second place. So at the moment, myself and Andy <laughs> have both qualified in second. So that's going to be some rounds that the winners of the groups probably don't want to face, to be honest. Not to be big-headed, but... Uh, that's, uh, that's something, isn't it? I don't think anybody will want Andy who won that group. And I guess at least Lamar's won't get him. Um, but there you go. Congratulations, Lamar Soleil. Commiserations, Bailar. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.